What's good everybody, Ollie Roberts here again today with another tutorial. So good to have you all back, seeing your smiling faces. Some of you may be smiling, some of you maybe not, I don't know, I'm looking at a camera lens. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to show you guys how you can make yourselves... I'm going to show you guys how you can make yourself disappear just like that. For this all you need is Adobe After Effects and you're pretty much good to get started, so let's do this. Right. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, so this is the clip we're going to be working with today, it's just me stood against the wall against my house, my mum and dad's house, and there I am stood there, and there I am just stood away like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to trim these, so we're going to go up to basically where I am about to leave the frame, which is there, and we're just going to hit Command Shift D on our keyboard, trim this accordingly like so, and then just, doesn't matter how long this is going to be, because we are going to hit time and freeze frame on this. I'm going to drag that to the bottom layer like so because this is going to be our background. If you do want to rename it just press enter on your keyboard and we'll just put BG for background. Drag that to fit like so. Okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to choose a point where we feel like it's appropriate to disappear. Anywhere will do. And we're going to hit command shift D again. Right click, hit time and freeze frame like so. You're about halfway through it already just by doing that. Right, so now that all our layers are in check, you can start applying the effects, but first thing we have to do is mask me out or mask whatever it is you are removing from the frame out. So we're gonna grab the pen tool up here like so, make sure we've got top layer selected, and we are going to zoom in a little bit. Just click the magnifying glass, zoom in, grab the hand to move around, and we're just gonna get the pen tool, which is that little tool there, and cut around me to make a mask, like so. And if you want to move around, just grab the hand tool again, and then make sure you select the pen tool, and you can carry on. Right, I'll speed this bit up real quick, because it can be a bit time consuming. Literally, you just click and click and click and make a mask around the object you're cutting out. So I'll see you in a jiffy. A jiffy? Uh, I'm just going to cut in and just say, look how ridiculous my face looks, I'm all like... And another point, when you're filming this, you want to make sure your footage is on a tripod, you're using manual settings so the lighting doesn't change. You want to make sure the subject isn't casting any shadows, just to make it actually look good. As you can see in the intro clip, the lighting changes a slight bit because I filmed it in my bedroom, and there's a shadow that changes in the bottom corner, but hopefully you didn't notice that. If you do, you go skip back and look at it and then realise how much of an amateur I actually am, because I'm not very good at this. Jokes. Um, no, seriously. I'm trying to teach you guys things, and I'm learning things myself while I'm doing this, and it's all good fun. So yeah, like I said, my face looks ridiculous, like... Two, you want to keep the mask simple, tripod, fixed lighting, manual settings, and try and just have a nice background to work from, like this wall. Why are my arms so long? This is taking forever. Seriously, I'm like... Right, so we're just about to finish the mask off now. Doesn't really matter what you select on this bit, as long as it makes a loop. And there you go, you have masked yourself out. I'm just going to go down here and hit fit. So we're all back in. As you can see, there's a mask around me now on that top layer. Make sure you're actually doing it on the correct layer as well, because if you do it on the wrong one, it's not going to work. So there I am. If you toggle me on and off, you can now see we're like 75% done. Right, so all we need to do now is apply the effect to the clip that we want to make disappear, which is me. Everyone loves it when someone disappears, or, well, no, actually, no, they don't. Everyone loves it when magicians make things disappear, like Dynamo and stuff, but who needs Dynamo when you've got Adobe After Effects? So the effect we're going to be using today is CC Scatterize. We'll just type in CCSC in the Effects and Presets tab there, and it comes up under Simulation. We're going to drag and drop that onto the clip, like so, the top layer that we've just made the mask on. And we want to go to the start, go over here where it says Scatter, hit the stopwatch, all the way to the end of the clip. And we're going to drag the number and just drag that all the way up like so. About uh, where, wherever you fancy, wherever you feel will look good on this one. And that's all there is to it really, as you can see. I just look into the camera really emotionally and boom, disintegration. We're going to add a bit of direction on this one as well, just add some twist on there. So we're going to hit the stopwatches at the start. Just drag back to the start of the clip. Right twist, stopwatch. Go here, put that about 90 degrees, and then we're going to do the same on left twist, but we're going to do 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So left twist, hit the stopwatch, scroll to the end, like so. So it's about 278, 290, and there you go. You are disintegrating into nothingness. I'll just play it back now to see how it looks like properly.
And there you have it. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to add sound effects, you can export this via the render queue, put it in Premiere and add some swoosh noises in there like I did at the start of the video and like you've just seen on that preview just there. And that's all there is to it, guys. That's how you make yourself disappear and the police don't have to be involved or anything like that. My God, what am I talking about? But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all learned something. If you did, leave a comment below and give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. I've got some big ideas and big plans for 2020. One starting with a new mic because this Canon 6D Mark II internal mic ain't cutting it. Um, so I'm going to get that ordered and get some new lenses. Uh, be sure to follow my Instagram as well. I do a lot of photography work as well and that's pretty much where I post all my favourite shots on there. I po try and post daily, but if not, it's once every two days or so. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description below. Yeah, big plans 2020. Going on some trips, going on some adventures, see what happens and make some more awesome content for you guys even though it's just mediocre. So yeah, this is going to be my last video until Christmas. The next video is going to be coming after that. So I hope you all have a good Christmas, guys. I'll see you in between the new year. So have a good one. In a bit, see you later, adios, goodbye, and be sure to subscribe and all that good...